get into the hair hey y'all this is your girl simply monet don't forget to like comment and subscribe before we get back into the hair video i am going to show you guys in this video how to maintain your short hair from dyeing it from me doing myself a protein treatment from me curling it with a pencil curling iron all that good stuff luxury is whatever it looks like and my self-care day is actually doing my hair and my toes honey but today we're going to just talk about my hair video y'all love the hair videos the skincare videos really not the vlogs but y'all love the hair and all that self-care that's my lane so i'm giving you guys what you want and obviously it's the hair so i hope you guys enjoy this video i want you guys to learn how to start doing your hair at home if you can spend the 80 dollars every two weeks go right ahead because that is still a luxury making yourself feel pretty but in the meantime with everything going on save your coins honey go to sally's the beauty supply whatever and get you some get you some stuff okay but anyway y'all this is the hair don't forget go ahead and watch it head over it's after this watch it okay don't skip over it because don't be asking me no questions go ahead and watch it <laughs> this is your girl simply monet and i'm back with another is it recording i'm back with another hair video everybody's favorite so this time my hair video is going to be a little bit more extensive i know i always talk about how to maintain your backs your sides relaxer scarf but i've never really just gone into detail on what i really really do and i know i got a few questions on some of my videos like what do you do in the whole entirety but anyway you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's go ahead and get the video started okay you guys so the first thing i'm going to do these are the products that i'm going to do instead of just doing like a little rail i'm just going to show you guys so i am dyeing my hair jet black so sidebar i like my hair super jet black in the summertime and bright as hell in the winter time don't ask me just because i feel like i swim a lot having color bleaching your hair in the summertime can really absolutely if you go to a professional every two to three weeks, if your hair is just soft and you know how to maintain it good for you, I just know me going in the pool with chlorine and bleach, girl, you will be bald headed like a chicken. Okay. Just FYI. Cause when I had red hair, I was doing it. And that's why a bitch got patches in the back of her head. Okay. But anyway, any, <laughs> I like my hair black. So I'm going to go ahead and use this kiss dye, which is my favorite dye. So since my hair is super short than how it normally is, I don't like to just be ghetto, and this is a tip. This is what my stylist told me, just putting it all in your hair. Because what you're going to do is have your whole scalp black. So I like to be a little bit more professional and use a bowl, a mixing bowl, and a mixing brush. And I put my dye in here. You don't need no developer. Unless you're using like a demi, you do need a developer for your demi. But I'm just using a semi-permanent because I do have relaxer on my hair. And you know with relaxed hair, you can do semi Please, sidebar, do not dye your hair after a relaxer with permanent dye, bleach, anything, unless you go to professional and they have the tools to do that, okay? Then the first thing is I have my gloves because I don't want my hands black. And then the shampoo that I'm using is by this brand called Straight Request. It is a very professional. I have all their products, but I'm going to wash my hair with their hydrating I put it down because I'm running out with their hydrating. It is sulfate free. So for me, oddly, I like to use sulfate free, like natural hair products on my hair, even though I'm still relaxed. I don't know. Don't ask me. I just do. But I'm going to use this to shampoo my hair. And then I think I'm just going to pick any kind of conditioner to just condition it after. And then I'm going to give myself a protein treatment just to kind of give my hair some strength. I'm going to use this straight request called um strength 1000 so i have a few products from them that you can use ghetto but i have one in my plastic bag because the top broke it's called the flat tip fixative this one is really good my favorite conditioner from straight request and then i have this product called 100k it's a big old bottle y'all oh this now what this is, is <clears throat> it restores strength, restores moisture, restores shine, split in, high quality. It is pretty much the same as this, but I absolutely love these products. So if you have blonde hair, you have color, you need to get straight requests. I think you can order it online. My mama got all this stuff for me, but it is a professional product. I see a lot of hairstylists who use this, are influenced, the sign essentials. 
use good products like that affirm all of that but anyway y'all enough of the talking because i know you guys want to entirely how i do my hair at home so let's go ahead and get started and put this color in my hair child see you later all right, you guys, so go ahead and make sure you have like a dark towel, you have your gloves because regardless if it's semi or not, it will stain. So I'm going ahead and put this in my mixing bowl. Y'all, I don't know, I just used to just put the bottle straight on my head, but now just to be a little bit more of a self-care type of luxury feel, I put it in the mixing bowl because I do see when you do just slap the bottle in your head and don't, you know, put it in a mixing bowl, it kind of makes your hair look choppy. It's hard to describe it, but you can just tell because your scalp is stained. It just doesn't look right. So I'm going to go ahead and just get whatever product on the edges that I have. You can see that I still have some color on the ends of my hair. So let's go ahead and get this product distributed. It's very simple. I just start with the bag just because it is the least amount of hair. And you know, if you like your hair super short like mine, and once you shave it, put the clippers on it, it really don't matter. But anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Enough talking. You guys enjoy. All right, you guys, once you are done distributing in your hair, I'm about to obviously sit under the dryer. Go ahead and sit under the dryer for about 20 to 25 minutes, whatever you choose. Remember, even though you are still going black, your hair is still a chemically processed hair or chemically processed service. So if you just wanna get that luxury feel, I've seen some people where they just put a plastic bag over their hair and a scarf or something just to add that heat to the hair to activate the colors through your strand. You can do that. But if you want a more of a self-care luxury type feel, you can go ahead and sit under the hair dryer. The hair dryer you can get at your beauty supply, Sally's, Amazon, wherever. So yeah, this is my hair black i haven't washed it out so i'll go ahead and check out check with you guys when i wash it out and the next steps after that all right y'all so i am back i washed my hair so it came out pretty decent i won't be surprised if i still have a little bit of color but it's mostly black and you can always tell once you wash your hair if it took or not so definitely black I didn't have no color on my hair really just a little bit so i knew that took but anyway like i dyed my i relaxed my hair a week ago today and then a week ago i semi permit my hair obviously but you can relax and semi dye your hair meaning just putting a semi permanent with your relaxer i prefer to do it a week apart but you do not suppose to relax and permanently dye your hair they say you're supposed to relax your hair three to four weeks before you decide to put a permanent bleach or anything on your hair because remember once you do have relaxed hair and you decide to bleach or color it or any volume 20 30 40 you're supposed to wait three to four weeks you're not supposed to do a color then relax you're supposed to relax and then do a color three to four weeks after because remember the color and bleach will straighten out your hair follicles just remember that that's just a tip and that's just with me doing color for so long so i did a clarifying shampoo and then of course the hydrating shampoo that i told you guys this is my favorite i've been using this for years it's cheap but it makes my hair still feel very soft so since i'm doing a lot of chemical processes in my hair of course 
relaxed and straightened your hair glands obviously that's a big chemical process itself and then putting a the semi even though a semi is still chem it's still a chemical process you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and use this straight request called reconstructor a thousand you can use any protein treatment any good condition on your hair whatever you choose i just like to go ahead and get my ph back in my hair so i always use this i'm kind of running low not that much but i've been using the hell out of this so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this in my hair and you are supposed to sit under the dryer 10 to 20 minutes i prefer any deep conditioner you may want to sit in the um sit under the dryer just to kind of open up your hair follicles get that healthy conditioner in your scalp you know so your hair can be soft and moisturized and not all brutal brutal and dry because trust me a fucked up chemical process job relax a color demi whatever can mess your hair up <laughs> and i don't have to just be bleached just fyi people just think oh i'm gonna bleach my hair it's gonna mess up if you get up messed up relax a job then in a color job baby your hair is gonna be screwed so Go ahead and get that in my hair and then i'm gonna go ahead and sit under the dryer for 10 to 20 minutes go ahead and wash this out and then i will see y'all when it's time everybody's favorite time to mold and style the hair hold on hold on fuck that listen, you got Cleansing my soul of a picture for now Cause I'm falling apart yeah. Tension Between us just like big fences You got issues that I will mention for now Cause we're falling apart This 
the final part of the mold i sit under the dryer this time normally i do not sit under the dryer i just air dryer but this time i just did not want to but anyway we're just going to keep it real simple so of course i'm going to use my oil and i'm just going to distribute that in my hair look how more just look how flat my mold is so you can either leave this like how it is or however you like it really don't matter i'm probably just gonna throw a little bit of curls in here of course if you looked at my previous videos which i will link below i can't even open this oh my maury's pomade which i love gonna distribute that in the on the back in the sides and just a little bit up top so i'm gonna just bump my hair a little bit so i have this small maybe like how many inches one and a half point five very small curling iron this is for like very short hair i haven't pulled this out in a long time of course i have this comb with the metal end so it can separate my hair so i'm gonna go ahead and just bump my hair and i'm gonna just let you guys just watch I curled so now I see what this is this is called the pencil um red flat iron so this thing get hot it don't have no adjustments or nothing like that so I just curled it as y'all can see and I'm just going to since it's so short just run my fingers through it not much to really do so you can either leave it no heat or you can just comb it out. Normally, you do not have to use this comb. You're supposed to use like a wide tooth comb. So, or you can just manipulate it with your fingers like so. So, as y'all can see, the color is nice. It took really, really well. And, yeah. I feel like I pretty much got my hair back healthy on my own. Y'all, why is that? I feel like I got my hair back healthy on my own, just to be honest. Of course, with the help of my aunt, just making sure she giving me tips and things like that. But her cutting the color off my hair from the red really tremendously helped my hair. It's not even shredded no more. So like I said, when you get your hair back to a healthy standing point by doing protein treatments and things like that at home, it really helps a lot. So... This is the final look, you guys. Let me do my brows. I know I'm not doing makeup or nothing. So, this is the final look of my hair. Super cute, right? And, yeah, just make sure y'all just 
do your hair at home if you can if you are able to flat sleek look i love my hair absolutely this short I am going to probably keep my hair short forever. It's super easy for me to maintain. I do not know how to maintain no bob. I do not know how to maintain no curls. I tried it and it just did not work. But anyway, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. Product links will be linked down below. I also will try to make sure I find this because I don't remember where I got this from. But if I find the link, I will link it below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just tell me what you guys think. Mm -hmm.